So if you're having issues on the US Avid portal, which I can guarantee you, you might actually have an issue, one issue or the other, because this um, website is sometimes buggy in the sense that you will always express one issue or the other. It's either you're having difficulties registering, or for example, you might be trying to log in and you're having issues or situations where you're trying to make payment, it is declining, or sometimes you successfully made the payment, but it's not reflecting. So I've seen it all. So in order to um, get some of these issues sorted, you have to create a ticket. So in order to, in, so to do that, you come to the menu. We have my dashboard, my appointment, notifications, support, my account, and sign out, right? You click on support. Once you click on support, it shows you these options. So um, you click non-immigrant visa. Depending on what you are trying to, depending on the reason why you are creating this um, support in the first place. So if it is a non-immigrant visa, you click non-immigrant. If it is an immigrant visa, you click immigrant. But in this case, we are trying to create a non-immigrant visa. So once you click on non-immigrant visa, now what is the reason why you are trying to create this ticket? So is it uh, visa fee related? Is it appointment related? Is it document delivery inquiries? Is it, is it pending application? Is it profile? So whatever the case is, let's say I'm having issues with visa fee payment, then I will not click ticket. If I'm having issues with my appointment, I'll click appointment scheduling inquiries. I cannot create ticket, right? Once you create the ticket, summary, which is the title, just give a brief, a brief introduction on why you're sending a message. I'm having issues creating an appointment. Now select the applicant's name. This will automatically, once you click, once this name has been filled in the Avid portal, it will automatically pop up. Then describe the situations. So now from experience, it always makes sense to give details, right? Uh, even though you are limited number of characters, so make sure you give details enough to be able to, for them to make decision. And once you're done, quickly go to this place, upload supporting documents for the situation. So for example, if you have been doing a screenshot, you can um, upload PDF file to show that you've made the payment. Any evidence at all, just upload it with the application, then click on submit. Then wait for a few days, then your situations will be attended. So basically, this is how to create a support ticket on the US Avid portal. So, um, if you have any issue whatsoever, feel free to use the support system. Follow me for more. See you next time. Bye.